Andorra is one of the smallest countries in Europe. At just under 500 square kilometers, it is only about half the size of New York City. The state is located in the middle of the Pyrenees and is completely surrounded by France and Spain. Andorra is considered to be the only state in the world in which two foreign officials perform the function of head of state. Once the French president, that is Emmanuel Macron, and then the Bishop of Urgil from the closest Spanish diocese. Both continue to govern the country, albeit only in a representative role. Nevertheless, the country also still has its own president and is a full member of the United Nations. Which raises the question of how such a tiny state between two major European powers could remain independent to this day. The beginnings of Andorra can be traced back to the time of Charlemagne. In the 9th century, Andorra was founded by Charlemagne as part of a buffer state. Its purpose was to prevent the Muslim Moors from advancing into Christian France. Charlemagne's son finally left the territory to the Spanish Bishop of Urgil, who is still the head of state today. In the following centuries, however, the French repeatedly laid claim to Andorra, since it was originally founded by Charlemagne, and they therefore considered it to be rightfully French property. It went so far that in 1278 an agreement was concluded between France and the Spanish Bishop of Urgil. This stated that Andorra was to be governed jointly by representatives of the Spanish bishop and the French head of state. Both were to receive an annual symbolic tribute. And this system of government actually remained intact until 1993, since it was not until that year that a constitutional amendment was made, whereby the two representatives were more limited in their power and the country received an official constitution. Nevertheless, there were repeated wars over the country and it was alternately occupied sometimes by France and sometimes by Spain. Thus, it was briefly annexed twice by Spanish Aragon in 1396 and 1512, whereas Napoleon conquered the country in the 19th century. French soldiers were also sent to secure Andorra during the Spanish Civil War. In the end, however, the country was able to fight for its independence again and again, even though it naturally continued to be under the strong influence of its two co-princes. However, the country was even able to achieve a certain internal autonomy by founding a national council, which was also allowed to enact laws under the reservation of the co-princes. Andorra sided with France in World War I and therefore declared war on Germany, even though it did not actually participate in hostilities. It remained in an official state of war with Germany until 1958, as it was actually forgotten in the Treaty of Versailles, which ended the First World War. Apparently, Andorra itself noticed it only in 1958, since it was only in that year that an official peace treaty with Germany was signed. In the 90s Andorra became more and more modernized and came out of its isolation and tried to be more involved in the newly formed European state structure. Therefore it joined in 1990 the customs union with the EU, in 1993 also the United Nations, and the entire state apparatus was increasingly modernized and adapted to the modern world. For the first time, an executive, legislative, and judicial branch was formed and a constitution was established, which also gave the country a head of government. The two co-princes remained in office as heads of state, but they now have only representative duties. Economically, Andorra is particularly dependent on tourism, which accounts for about 80% of GDP. Winter sports in the Pyrenees are particularly popular, which is why there are numerous ski resorts there. However, it is also known as a tax haven. Thus, the country has been on the blacklist of tax havens by the EU Commission since 2016. Especially because of the low sales tax, many Spaniards and French buy there and also for many companies and banks, the small country is very attractive because of low requirements and low taxes. Endoran citizens are in the minority with 35,000. In total, the country has about 80,000 inhabitants, which means that a large part of the population was born abroad, mainly in Spain, France. Due to the low taxes, there are also some Germans, British, and Dutch living in the country. Have you ever been to Andorra, or would you like to visit the country? Feel free to write it in the comments.